I've been waiting, Tilith. Or should I say, Bedechokhale? When it was announced that longtime series voice actor for Metal Gear Solid games David Hayter was going to be replaced, fans across the globe were outraged. It was then revealed that Kiefer Sutherland would be replacing David as the voice actor. When we first heard clips of Kiefer as Snake, it was met with mixed feelings. Some felt his performance lacked the energy that David had, and some felt it was a good change. It wasn't until the game was finally released when we got to hear Kiefer Sutherland's interpretation of Snake. Still, however, a lot of people weren't impressed. One of the main complaints I've heard and read online is his acting was okay, but he didn't talk too much. And while it is true that he didn't have many lines, especially when compared to the character in the previous games, it is a really unfair way to judge a performance based on what a character says. In this video, we will be analyzing Kiefer Sutherland's performance in Metal Gear Solid 5. The particular sound. His words. But before we can talk about Kiefer Sutherland's performance, we have to discuss what acting is. Acting is not acting. Acting is being. So what does this mean? Well, anyone can read lines on a paper, and almost anyone can read those lines and add some kind of emotion to it. But without a genuine reason or emotion behind those lines, they won't be as meaningful as they could be. In other words, to bring a character to life, you have to be that character, not act like that character. When you get a script, you do some detective work. There is a reason a character says the words they say and do the things they do. What were the events that took place before we met our character? What is our character like when we don't see them? What do the people around our character mean to them? The most important part is putting your own personal experiences from your life and applying them to the character. This is what brings them to life. Those times you personally felt fear, heartbreak, excitement, and happiness. Think back to them and apply them to your character and you'll see them come to life. There is a lot more, but we will be here all day. <laughs> Hideo Kojima took a different route with the voice acting in this game. He had the actors do facial capture for the characters to bring a more natural performance into it. This is the first time this has been done in this series, but before, the faces were animated by hand. Well, I've never done the facial capture before, where they stick all the metal dots on your face. Everything from a smile that's like, like that, or one of them is a monkey face, which is the most embarrassing to do, which is like, like that. And it's so that they can catch every line that changes in your face. The face of the character in the video game is doing exactly what I'm doing while I'm reading the script. That's impressive. In previous Metal Gears, Snake's emotions were expressed through phrases like, Kaz, are you okay? But this time, all he says is, Kaz? I wanted everything else to be expressed to the player through Snake's facial expression and vocal performance. Thanks to the top-notch acting, it's been a great success. I think it will turn out to be something truly special. As an actor, when you are in the scene, you are in it 100%. One thing that you find many beginning actors do is they treat scenes like a turn-based game. When you say a line, then you wait when I say mine. When in fact, that's not how it works at all. Just because your character is left without lines, doesn't mean your character lacks purpose or meaning. Everything and everyone in that scene all contributes to the bigger picture. Venom Snake is in a different state of mind emotionally. He loses all of his men, watched Mother Base, his home, sink into the ocean, 
goes into a nine-year coma and ends up losing an arm as well. Paz and Chico are not only killed, but there are pieces of them inside of his body. <laughs> to say Venom Snake is emotionally hurt is an understatement. What makes him so interesting as a character is that while as hurt and damaged as he is, he still has to remain vigilant and strong for his fellow soldiers. Someone has to lead them. Someone has to be there for them. One of my favorite parts of the game is when he is alone with Kaz in the helicopter. Kaz is his friend and probably one of the closest people to him. It's one of the few times Venom Snake really opens up to someone. I love this scene because the delivery is just so spot on and those few lines combined with the look on his face we learn so much he is unsure if he is fit to be a leader he is afraid of failing again he is worried if he'll make another mistake it also tells us how he feels about Kaz by sharing such an intimate moment with him Combined with a distraught delivery, we learn he considers Kaz to not only be a good friend, but just hold him in high regard. But what about when Venom Snake isn't talking? Most of the complaints are about his lack of lines, so let's look at a scene where he doesn't talk. First, let's go over one of the very first scenes, when Ocelot brings Venom Snake to Afghanistan. This is without a doubt one of my favorite parts of the game. That's why you have to handle this mission yourself. Put those nine years behind you and return as big boss. That's how Koss would want it. I'll be sending additional intel by radio. Stay sharp. Not one of Miller's bodyguards survived. And they were good. All we found on the scene were their corpses and knees. You'll be missing them. And you're his only hope of getting them back. Venom Snake doesn't need to say anything to tell you what is on his mind. Just simply look at his face. You can feel and see all the pain he feels in that one moment. By a simple gesture from Keith Sutherland's portrayal of Venom Snake, he said more than words ever could. We see that he is feeling so much hurt over what happened. We see that he carries that burden with him and will continue to do so through the rest of the game. One of the parts I feel his performance really shines is at the funeral scene for his fellow soldiers. In this scene before, Venom Snake had to kill a lot of his men to stop spreading the vocal cord parasite. At the end of the scene, he simply breaks down. This part says a lot about his character. No matter how strong he makes himself look in front of his soldiers, he is still human. He hides this part of him so much that he won't even show us, the audience. He turns his back, and the camera fades away. In fact, he doesn't even fully show his face until this moment. You're all diamonds. When 
not bearing them. It is not until he regains his composure and comes back that he turns around to finally face his men. And while he does have a few lines in this scene, it is his face that truly shows the pain that he feels. Watch this part on mute and see what I mean. Even though nothing is being said, we can tell just by looking at his face that Venom is hurt. He hates himself for having to kill his men. He's angry that this had to happen, and he is sad that he lost them again. He feels that he somewhat failed as a leader. All of this, he carries with him in this scene. In fact, when people tell me acting is all about speaking, I tell them, watch a scene without sound. You will then start to see how emotions, facial expressions, and body language begin to play into the performance and how much they mean. And if you want another example of how much the face adds to the performance, then look no further than Quiet. She has the fewest lines of all the characters in the game, and yet everyone I talk to was so upset when she left. But why? If acting is all about what you say and how you say, then how could she have such an impact on people? Because of her face and body language, the way she smiles at Venom in the helicopter, how she gives you a thumbs up when playing in the field, and how she behaves around Venom in the cutscenes. I hope after watching this you go back and replay through the game with a different outlook. I only went through a couple of standout scenes here, but let me know what you think on the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. After all, actions do speak louder than words.